I get so excited when I see new UFO footage, right? Because it's amazing. It still winds me up that a lot of it is blurry, but sometimes we're getting like 4K footage now of, uh, of UFOs, but I'm still yet to see a 4K footage video, which is close up, right? <laughs> With all these phones now, you can zoom in and, and I mean, we, we can zoom into the moon and see craters, but we can't zoom into a UFO in 4K, really? Come on, right? So, but every time I see a UFO footage, I get so excited, all right? And there's loads of them. It's getting to a stage now where I can't even remember what I've seen and what I haven't seen, all right? But with I, I i'm managing my emails pretty pretty well at the moment so i'm sort of putting them into folders of what i've seen what i haven't seen so i can go back and refer to them and right it's amazing so if you're into ufos and aliens and the paranormal mate please subscribe we're on our road to a million subscribers so if you could subscribe it doesn't cost anything it'd be amazing okay now um i have got so much to cover it's gonna be impossible to cover it all in one video. Look at the tabs that I've got up, mate. And that's just some, right? <laughs> but I wanted to do something a little bit different today. Well, not different. Is it different? Well, it is totally different. I've not done this video before. I wanted to look at only older footage and whatever you think is old. I mean, some people think five years is old, 10 years is old, 40 years is old, whatever you think is old. Well, I'm, I'm going to show you stuff that is probably so old you may not have seen it but also i think that what's really interesting is because it's so old some of this footage maybe these are like more legit or i don't know maybe more mind-blowing right now don't get me wrong i i'm gonna show you some videos that i really do think hang on a second this is a little bit mm, a little bit too hard to believe but you don't know okay so I, I, all I'm trying to say is nowadays, I think with the social media, people are more inclined to fake things, right? For money purposes, fame, whatever. When it, as opposed to back years ago where social media wasn't a thing. So the only way you'd want to fake something is for your own personal pleasure i suppose and maybe get into the no local newspapers or whatever but it wasn't really a, a huge financial benefit unless you're gonna go all out mate you know what i mean um anyway so i've got a load of footage here for us to have a look at and tomorrow i'm going to be well in fact straight after this i'm probably going to make another video for tomorrow right Let's get into the video. Let's get into the nitty gritty. So a while ago, we did a video, right? And inside that video was a clip. It was an interview. And it was an interview back in, I think it was like the 60s or something like that. I think it was 68, 69. It was a couple. And the woman was talking about how she got pushed off to the side of the road. Her car just like stopped all of a sudden. And she saw a UFO come down. An alien came out of that, right? It came up to her. And started, like, basically almost mind control on her car. Started her car up again. And she described this thing with blonde hair, um, pale skin. And basically what she, she described was a Nordic alien, mate. All right? It's incredible. And I just thought that interview was so good. And everyone in the comments just thought it was so legitimate. Um, don't worry. I don't think it's fake. I'm not going to say, by the way, it's fake. It's not. Okay, but I just thought I want to I've got a couple more interviews for us to see from back in the 60s. And um, this is one that says the title is UFO over Guernsey uh, Witness Speak 1967. I've not listened to this yet and I want to listen to it with you. So let's um, let's check this out. You say you saw this object on the headland right where we're standing a week ago last Saturday. Yeah. What exactly did you see? Well, we was coming across on the uh, common over there as we was walking towards here, and there's this reddish stone thing just glowing there. Well, we just turned back and went back. And then Monday, we come back again. We come back, we seen this thing from the Pembroke car park over there. We shined a torch at it, and it just stopped revolting, you know? And it, like, it just started, just, there was just a glow there, and it just stopped spinning. Well, you've seen it twice, oh, in fact, haven't you? Yes. So what did you do on the first time? How long did you have it under observation? What about you, John? About 20 minutes, I think. 
Yeah, roughly 20 minutes. And what about the second time? Uh, it was a bit longer. It was about half an hour. <laughs> just, sorry, just imagine carrying on smoking while you're getting interviewed by like, Do you know what I mean? But you didn't report this to the police or make any official uh, report no, to well, anybody. We thought they'd think we were mad. See, that's the thing, right? This is, this is the thing. What they're saying has got to be legitimate because, first of all, He's already, he's just said, no, we didn't go to the police. I don't think they were mad. So he, he understands, like, look, I'm probably sounding quite crazy right now, but this is legit what I saw. So he said he saw a rock, a glowing red rock, and he, sh he shone his torch on it. Um, and it started spinning. What the hell? And so there's another one as well. And this one, again, I've not, I've not heard it. I've just seen uh, the, the guy started making uh, a, a drawing about it. But this is a couple of policemen Again, in 1967. Listen to this. Patrol car, Delta 9. Now, I've got to be honest with you. I don't know whether I've shown you this one before. I don't think I have, because I don't remember what they're talking about. With PC Roger Willey and PC Clifford Waycott, based at Oakhampton, were out on night duty patrolling the A3... Oakhampton, mate! That's up the road, man! 72, Hatherley to Holsworthy Road. Precisely one minute past four o'clock this morning, they sighted an object 400 yards away from them and at treetop level. They reported immediately to Oakhampton Police Station, where further men were brought out. PC Willie, you were driving the patrol car at the time. Can you describe it to us? Well, PC Willie. <laughs> the, the object was uh, likened unto a cross. Um, Although the inner parts were um, something similar to the points of a compass, and they were quite um, blurred, the inner part of the um, cross. But it was how, brilliant, how, brilliant white, brilliant light. How in fact did you see it? I mean, uh, did it make any kind of noise to you? No, there was no noise. Look at that. The, the first time we saw Mate, it. I've, I've, got to, I've just got to show you, show you something, right? Because somebody sent me on emails the other day a picture of all like loads of different types of uh, UFO that has been uh, spotted. Okay, I want to see if that is on there. And I lo I lost the email. Okay, I it'd probably take me a while to find it. So I just went on Google. I found it again. You can find it on Google, right? Let me just let me just show. Let me just show you here. Um, here we go. Let me just see if it's that one's not on there. But I'm sure I've seen that one somewhere before. No, it's not on there. Okay, all right. No, no worries. No worries. Just thought it might be. The the first time we saw it was when it was just above treetop height, and ahead of us. And from then, um, Consul Willie just uh, said, "Here we go." Then, and uh, we drove off after it, if you know what I mean. What uh, kind of speed were you travelling at? We were travelling very fast. Did it make any kind of sound? Um, no, no sound that I heard at all. It was. Um, there was no outside uh, noise apart from the noise of the car itself. And the acceleration, the acceleration away from us was terrific. So really, we didn't get under it to hear any sound. But you were really close enough to be absolutely certain that your eyes weren't fooling you. Oh yes, okay. uh, it was just in front of us. <laughs> there was no question whatsoever that um, this was a pigment in the imagination. It was, it was definitely there. It was definitely either manned uh, by some sort of being or remotely controlled. It was definitely being controlled to view our car or... You or had the feeling that it was watching you? Definitely, yeah. yes. Oh, wow, mate. Ooh. So they think it was watching them, mate. <laughs> Man, I could listen to that stuff all day, mate. I could listen to that stuff all day. Right, okay, so that's a couple of uh, uh, interviews to get the cockles warming, <laughs> right? So I'm going to show you some other... Um, Old school footage now. I've got this one as well, but should I show you it? No, mate. I can't, no, 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 because that's going to be a, a, a whole new video, mate. I was toying whether to show you this. Because when you look at it, you just think, oh my God, Ben, that is so fake. It's unreal. However, I'm going to show you it anyway, because... I always try to think to myself, hang on a second... When you're talking about alien technology, 
I suppose anything can be possible, right? Things would look and move very weird, right? So I'm trying to give it the benefit of the doubt. Someone sent this to me. I'm like, and I've been, I've seen it so many times, but check, check this out and let's just talk about it, right? Wow, that's quite a Right? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, wait. Please put in the comments. I, I really want you to now. Please put in the comments. If you think that was real or fake, just press, just type one fake or one real. That's all, okay? One fake or one real. Because I want to know, like, what your limits are. The, only, the the reason I'm just, right, first of all, I think, I'm going to play devil's advocate. I think it's fake because... The way it moves there, right, it's very like, um, it's very robotic. It's very sort of, I don't know, it doesn't flow very well, right? And also the shadow is a little bit s suspect, yeah? And I've tried to, let me just try to, you can do this frame by frame. I've done it frame by frame here. You can, like, this also intrigues me. I'm sure I've seen an, a UFO before with a tail like that. And I can't think of where I've seen it, but I've seen it somewhere before. Right? And if we go frame by frame, like, the shadow sort of disappears very abruptly. Yeah? But this is the devil's advocate. I think it could be real because look how it moves. We're talking alien technology. These things, right, can turn on a dime, apparently, right? We we've seen other UFO videos where they turn on a dime, like boom, boom. Like that, gone, Boom. right? And it's just this little bit here. It's moving alien-like, right? It's moving with absolute precision. And that's what I expect an alien craft to be able to do. If these can just go from zero to Mac billion, right? <laughs> In milliseconds, why can't something like that move like that, right? So I, I could argue, I could sit here and argue both sides for hours, <laughs> yeah? And, and also why I thought it was real. Okay, I'm carrying on with the, the real argument. Look at the, like, the reflections of this metal. The lighting is very well done. And when you're talking about the shadow, like the shadow is bending around the soffit at the top here, you know? <sighs> Man, I don't know, mate, I don't know. I, honestly, I threw it away for so many times. I, every, every time I kept on looking at the video, I was like, nah, 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 nah. But I was like, hang on a second, right? So that's the first one. Now, another one which again, which could be sort of like, hmm. But it's damn cool to look at, right? Check this out. Right. Okay, here we go. This is incredible if it's real. Oui, en 2013, ça se passe en Auvergne-Rhône-Alpes. Un agriculteur vient voir ses vaches de il vient voir ses vaches dans son champ et voilà ce qu'il voit. 2013. Il est avec sa petite fille d'ailleurs qui ils vont paniquer, ils vont avoir peur. Wait. Wait.
I've not seen it from start to finish. Qui, qui pleure, qui, il, a, il a pris un coup, de, un coup de speed et on peut le comprendre. Hein. Euh, L'agriculteur, il va tranquillement dans son champ avec sa, sa fille pour voir les vaches. Il voit ça, il dit, mais qu'est-ce que c'est C'est quoi dans mon champ là alors, alors, Il va zoomer la vidéo, alors c'est avec la qualité d'époque forcément, hein, c'est pas les smartphones. Euh... Just, just wait before you start typing, Ben, this one is BS, ok Just, just wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it again, I'm gonna do the devil's advocate. Dernière génération qu'on a aujourd'hui, hein, mais... Voilà, plus on zoome dans l'image, plus, plus, plus ça fait des, des, des pâtés de pixels. Mais néanmoins, on voit bien ce qui se passe. Et c'est euh, juste hallucinant, euh, cette... Euh... Oh, what the... Mate, what des, des, des pâtés de pixels. Mais néanmoins, on voit bien ce qui se passe. Et c'est euh, juste hallucinant, euh, cette... Euh, oh, cette, euh, mate cette Donc, Auvergne-Rhône-Alpes, hein, c'était pris. Hein. Oh, yeah, OK, 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 OK. Right, hang on, just hold on a minute, just hold on, just wait, we're gonna watch the whole thing. Alors voilà, on voit des, euh, des espèces de bonhommes, euh, petits également, lorsque c'est, on voit, ne distingue pas très bien si c'est des petits gris, euh, on voit qu'ils sont assez fins, assez petits, euh, je dirais à la louche comme ça, 1m50 ou je ne sais quoi, euh, euh, c'est juste hallucinant euh, cette vidéo. Celle-ci aussi avait à l'époque disparu très vite. If there's any euh, French in there, please can you translate it for me? Voilà, donc euh, on sait qu'aujourd'hui, voilà, en, de, en 2023, c'est officiel. Hein, L'US Navy, hein, c'est pas, pas nous qui le disons encore une fois, euh, c'est officiel. Euh, il y a bien des ovnis, donc ils enquêtent dessus. Euh, la NASA également est dessus. Mais il est tellement dessus. Down. Maintenant, ils enquêtent à fond pour savoir euh, est-ce que certaines races, peut-être, qu'ils ne connaissent pas, euh, est-ce que ça serait euh, pour voir si c'est pas une menace également pour. Euh, <rire> I know what you're thinking, right, Ben? Come on, let's say devil's advocate, <rire> right? Right there looks real, right? I know that the, 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 the footage is really bad, but it looks real. Oui, en 2013, ça se passe en Auvergne-Rhône-Alpes. And to fake Mais... something for back then, I mean, it, uh, okay, it's only two, I'm guessing this is 2013 because it says 2013 at the bottom, right? But like I say, you've got to try to remember Oh, mate, I suppose 2013 is later on when, you know, social media and stuff like that and people wanting to write books and things. But I don't know. I don't know. It's it's really annoying because it is hard to believe, especially when you've got little like men like this. Yeah, little little green men, <laughs> little gray grays. I mean, if this is legit, mate, that's the best footage ever ever right <laughs> we've literally seen a gray alien going into a, a, a into a ufo and effing off into the sky mate right <laughs> flashing away but i don't know mate like why would i suppose the question is why would you go to that extent isn't just having a ufo flying off here good enough <laughs> right to fake something yeah isn't that just good enough mate Yeah. And look. Hang on. Hang on. I did pause it a while ago before, so it's down here, and to try to see like if if, if the grass or sort of glows up, and it does, but it's so difficult you can't see like blades of of grass glowing up on one side. It's just sort of like a it's like a paintbrush blur of white everywhere, you know. So it's difficult, but it's like what I'm trying to say is, is it that good enough to fake? So if you want to fake something, is that good enough? And then especially up here, right? That's another good euh, one. Why would you go that far to say, all right, des... maybe they still don't believe us, throw some aliens in there. It's a bit of a risk take, right? Yeah? Look at these aliens, mate. All right, see, see you later. 
I'm off, mate. Oh, fun, I'm off, I'm again, I'm a UFO. Uh, je dirais à la louche comme ça, mètre 50. And where are they going? Quoi, uh... And look, this is, look at this, mate. Look at this UFO here, like with, with the thing. Right? Uh, C'est disparu très vite. Uh, Now that UFO, quoi. that UFO, let's just go back. Boom. Right, we've got one, two, three. Look. So dome with a little knobble at the top. Dome with a little knobble at the top. Maybe. Hmm. It's got like it's got. It's got like a little nipple at the top. I think it could be. It's almost flat at the bottom and domed at the top, right? With a little flat at the bottom, domed. I reckon it's C, mate. I reckon that's C. Yeah? A Wimslow. January 1966. Oh, look, hang on. 1954. Oh, mate, I don't know, but this is so damn good. <laughs> anyway, right, okay, on to the next one, on to the next one, all right? On to the next one. Here's another old footage, yeah? Seven seconds, mate. Look at this. This is the same similar type of um, shape UFO as well. Look, bang. Look at that, mate. And that little bit there, the little sort of back and boom. Moved similar. Listen, look. Boom. See how it goes that? Bang. Mate, that just doesn't look fake. I'm sorry. It doesn't look fake. The only mm, right, okay, so it moves similar. How it just like it moves similar to this one here, right? Remember what we just saw, yeah? Um, it moves similar to this one. Right, but the only thing I'm trying to, I think, is a little bit sus suspect is why why does it go back and then forward why like it's almost like it's catapulting itself off of something why do you need to go back and like did you just change your mind <laughs> but back forward back forward It's pretty intriguing though, mate. It's pretty intriguing. Now, right, here's another one. Man gets attacked by UFO. Now, I've got a feeling I've shown you this one. But I don't think I have. <laughs> What? <laughs> That doesn't make sense. <laughs> I think it's because I've seen it a couple of times. I just can't remember if I've shown you. But look, I'm going to show you this. Look at this, mate. Oh, my God. That's cool. The hell is it? The that? same sort of shape again. I never <laughs> mate, this thing hits him. I don't know about this one, mate. I don't know about this one. <laughs> I don't know about this one, mate. I don't know. Look. What's that? What's that? It just drops off here. Look, it goes right to him and past him. Hmm. Hang on a second. Nah, I'm not having that one. I think that was. I think that one. That I think that one is BS. Reason being is because look at the size of it up there, right? That's got to be what maybe 150 meters away. Yeah. And then it's right on top of him, and it's it's only. I mean, what's what's the width of that? What's the width of that? Like fifteen foot. It's hard to tell on there. 
I mean, it's covering the the width of the the lens. Yeah, I don't know about that one, mate. I think that one is. That one is. Oh my god! I never saw. <laughs> Mm, yeah, I don't know about that. I mean, it's hard to even play devil's advocate of that one, right? I mean, I could do. We could go straight out there, mate. Because again, like I say, any possibilities. The possibility is it morphed into a smaller shape as it went down to try to beat him up and then flew off. <laughs> All right, I wanted to show you anyway. I don't think I have shown you that one. Probably because I looked at it and gone, no, that, 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 that's rubbish. Oh yeah, mate. I have got some, my God, I have got some videos for you to see, mate. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to show. Uh, in fact, I might do, I might do, I might do this one straight after. Okay. Right. Okay. This one is really peculiar because I've often thought, we've, we've said before about um, UFOs coming down and then underneath in the center, it opens up and then one of those little mini UFOs come out. Remember the, the, the video with the carpenter um, that looked up and he saw that little mini UFO. I think it was in, was it in Brazil? That for me in my head is like a little, little mini mothership. But there's got to be, I think, a bigger mothership. And this video talks about this uh, uh, in Israel, a giant UFO in 1996, right? This has got to be the mother of all motherships, right? Look at this. But this amazing flying structured craft has no earthly explanation. It was seen over the small farming village of Kibbutz Hatsor for three consecutive nights in August of 1996. This video shot by a young resident of the Kibbutz shows a bizarre looking partially lit craft with strange red markings and rectangular shapes. Yeah, this is the one that's like quite weird because it's actually colorful, this one. Right, this is why they think it's a mothership, but also it's not just this bit. This bit here, and there's another bit back here as well, which is lighting up, which shows you this, the length of this thing. When the camera zooms in, we see what appears to be a light on the craft's left side take on amazing structure. The structure, some say, resembles a huge flying building with hallways. 17-year-old Amiche Shoa was stunned to be awakened by the strange bright object in the night sky. Mate, he imagine watched... seeing this stuff it, it, like in modern day technology. They're talking about this like hallways? Because this thing is going to be absolutely huge. I mean, look how much they're zooming in on it. And look at this here. It's still going back here, mate. But maybe it's cloaking itself or something? Just in amazement as it hovered above for hours. He waited for its return the next night video camera in hand. By the third night, word of the strange craft had spread, and some 60 members of the kibbutz came out to see it in all its glorious... By the third night? This thing's been flapping about for three nights now, at least. Colin. This time, Michi's batteries failed, but he managed to film the odd craft again using a neighbor's camera. Look what he managed to capture on Oh, his neighbor's camera's even better then, right? The Look at it. It's got it's, it's, it's got either side of it. This is straight from bloody Star Wars, man. Sure, it's so massive that the illuminated portion is said to represent only 5 to 7% of its actual size. 5 to 7%? 5, like, say, okay, so let's just say that, that my mobile, right? or a cell phone, if you're American, is 5% of that ship. So we're talking, mate, we're talking five, like five, 10, like we're talking something like that. In fact, like that. More than, that, mate, that's huge. Is this the design of some otherworldly architect? How are they getting that percentage when they can only see two other dots? As incredible as it sounds, some UFO researchers claim it could be housing alien inhabitants. La, 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 la. Giant aliens, did he say? Giant aliens is described in the giant aliens is described in the Bible. Oh, ooh. 
May, may. Giant aliens described in the Bible. What? Now I gotta read that. I gotta read that Bible. I tried a couple of times. Oh, mate. Giants. Oh, mate. That reminds me of another video I've got to do. I've got to do. <laughs> Giants in caves. Hang on. Look. Oh. No one has ever seen one like this before. So it was captured on two separate nights, one separate morning. Over 100 people uh, uh, saw it. Barry Chamish is one of the most respected UFO investigators in Israel today. He believes that this is one of the most extraordinary UFOs ever caught on tape. But we're dealing with... Mate, imagine nowadays if we saw that now with all of our drones. I've got a drone, right? I've got a drone. Yeah? I've got a drone, right? I'd be out there like a flash. 4K, baby. Like knocking on... Like boom, boom, boom. Knocking on the window. Hello? This with Chatsor is a very large UFO. This thing is not just a, um, a round disc. This thing's got windows. It's got two rows of windows or vents or who knows what on earth they're shaped because they are very odd, offbeat squares. And they managed to get a close up of these vents. I mean, really close. You're right inside them. Oh, and nice. uh, they could be teeth for all you know. And you have no idea what's attacking you. But this orange structure, I believe it's energy vents or something. Something to do with venting energy. The kibbutz is near an Israeli Air Force base. But Chamish is convinced this is no military craft. Hang on, so, hang on a second. If it's been there for three days, it's just, something's just occurred to me, right? If it's been there for three days, where's the daylight footage? Everything is wrong. The dimensions are wrong. The squares aren't quite squares. If it was a military vehicle, it hasn't come back. It's never been the likes of it. It's never been seen ever again. Then what was hovering above Israel for three consecutive nights that summer? Obviously, if this is up in the sky, there's nothing that's supposed to be up in the sky that looked quite like that. It apparently is some object which has got that sort of a size to it. In the well, hang on. You said that sort of... He, he said that sort of a size. So how did he say earlier that that was 5%? If that's the size there, that's like, I don't know, one-fifth? This level of blow-up. When they zoom in and get a structured image out of this, uh, it's just plain, it doesn't look like anything that I've ever seen. It doesn't look like uh, any ordinary UFO, that's for sure, but it certainly doesn't look like an airplane or a blimp, uh, balloons or whatever. But this would have to be considered to be un... What are people saying about? It? Where's the daylight footage? No one's saying about that. Like, if it's been up there for three days, where's the daylight footage? Okay, right, whatever. What are you thinking about that, mate? That was epic. Look at this one as well, mate. Look at this old school footage here, man. This is incredible. Now, in this final piece of footage, we will once again be looking at a cockpit camera view. This time from a MiG-21. The camera plane and three others were scrambled to intercept an unknown craft flying at very high speed, which is visible. I bet you, I'm sorry, but when I see these um, aeroplanes, okay, like the, the, the military aeroplanes, I bet there's, if there's any pilots watching, okay, or ex-military pilots, just imagine having the opportunity to fly a ufo mate imagine if they found a ufo which was in working order one of these disc things that you could just propel yourself like mac billion in seconds right would you fly it would you fly it mate Boom! <laughs> obviously you won't feel the mac inside that thing because it's right but mate how many pilots would try to give that thing a go? Like flight the navigator. Oh, I'm getting bird driving up and down the same old street. I gotta find a new place where the kids are hit. Here is a large cylindrical shaped object. And as the Russian planes close in, the UFO suddenly picks up speed and disappears. Here it is once again. You'll notice the cylinder seems to be traveling at about the same speed as the mix until about here. And then it seems to increase its speed, which, according to pilots, must have reached at least Mach 3 in about 10 seconds. Mach 3 in about 10 seconds. 
Okay, that that's dawdling, right? That is do that's in first gear. Mac three and ten seconds. That's first gear, mate. Three and about ten seconds. A lot of this footage was declassified after the Soviet military failed to identify the object seen here. This one shows an interception attempt by MiG pilots. There were many cylindrical object interceptions that were reported and investigated. We were interested in the high-speed potential of this object. The size of this one is estimated to be about twice the size of a MiG-21. What? With technology available to us and the Americans, it should not be able to move as fast as it does. Oh, mate, it reminds me... It reminds me of this one. Uh... It reminds me of that one. Look at that, mate. That is so beautiful. Look at that. Boom. Look at... I know we've seen it. I know. But look at it, mate. Wow. Well, this footage is still interesting because I don't think the Russians had any idea what they were dealing with here. Their fighters were at least as good as ours, and yet here is something that is completely beyond their capability to intercept. The acceleration rate of That's this thing. the tic tac, right? That's the tic tac. Now that he's he's he did that diagram, that just looks like the tic tac. The acceleration rate of this thing is impossible for any aircraft that we know of. I just right. Mm, I'm gonna I'm gonna skim through this video here because I want to show you some of the the like the highlights of it, right? But look, look at this. Look at that. Keep remember the shape. Remember the shape, guys. Right. Bang! This is UFO sightings in Switzerland, 1994. I mean, 1994 that. seems like yesterday, right? And look at the footage, 1994, mate. I was 14. Seems like yesterday, right? And look at the look, 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 look. Sind, dass da auch mit Modell, mit Doppelbeleuchtungen oder anderen. Look at that, and look at the top bit. Remember that. Remember the, all the de the decorations at the top here. Fälschige hat aber den Keindienst gemacht, sagt der Billy Meyer, und als Beweis hat er die Außerirdischen selber fotografiert. Es sind Pleiadier vom Planet Erra. Sie sind vor allem, um die Menschheit zu warnen. Sie warnen vor der Rüberbevölkerung, vor atomarer Versuchung und vor dem Ozonloch. Wer weitere Beweise braucht, um zu glauben, dem kann der Billy Meyer auch übernehmen. Look! And look! Oh, here. Is it here? Is it these types of things? Is it E5? Is it this? H1? No, I've seen another... I've seen some others. Hang on one second. Look, these things. This is what I'm talking about here, mate. And look at these Tic Tac ones. All right, we've got a couple more. We've got a couple more. Look, check this out. What? Hang on a second. Disc shaped UFO glides past mission ship, or was it, or was it NASA's live stream? I don't know for sure. NASA's live stream. You see this stuff, mate? This is getting a little bit too bloody real, man. And look, the last one in Japan. Look. Boom. Boom. Look at that. It does look legit. So what do you reckon about that, mate? Some old school footage there, mate. Some epic stuff. Right, okay. So I'm about to now record another video. So make sure you subscribe because then tomorrow you're going to be seeing another one. All right, thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.